They're not going to get louder than they are right now. So it's just letting them kind of be in touch with what's happening around them instead of what's going on in front of them right now is we all, and it's, and it's no fault to anybody's. We all do that. I just want to wrestle. That's what I learned. So I just want to do it really fast and really good. <laughs> yeah. I don't <laughs> like, I don't want to take time to let the people get into it. Well, no, yeah, you do. You want to take some good. time to let them get into you so that yeah. when you are getting beat up, they give a crap when you are beating up, they give a crap about that too. So, yeah, so, I mean, hey, so I, I feel like this is a perfect segue. We are talking about the young gentlemen, uh, uh, like they're not here. And Ryan, oh. do you have any, but yeah, it's like uh, an infomercial, but yeah. wait, there's more because we're going to bring on and have join us some of the rising stars. That's right. Second generation superstars that we're talking about. AEW <laughs> superstars, members of the gun club. They are the ass boys, Austin and Colton gun. Oh, Yes. You, hey, you know, you can come on. on, on the, the, they're getting dressed. <laughs> a protective For, helmet. I like it. Just which one is which dangerous. one is? I should put my glasses on so I can tell who's who. Austin coming in. I'm oh, pulling the chair out. Look at I like it. <laughs> Respect for his elder father. Okay. So. <laughs> wait. I should, <laughs> you should. I'm you sorry. you need to keep the helmet on because. Knowledge gets dropped around here, dog, and sometimes it'll knock you on your ass. Oh, I, like that. <laughs> I mean, I was going to start with the question to Austin saying that having watched you on the reality show, you're grounded, level headed, and all of this, but then I see you walk on with yeah. a protective helmet. Most uh, humble guy in the biz. Most humble, most guy. humble guy in the biz, but uh, I'm wearing this strictly because dad and Colton. Have now made it a priority to protect me at all costs because we were just in Vegas for a week. Yeah, and it chewed me up and spit me out. So this is for protection. Well, what do you want to go into detail about that? I don't think we should. No, right because now. No. the no. famous thing. I don't know if you've ever been to Vegas, but what happens I, in Vegas? I have ends up on the internet for all of us. Yes, ends up, yes, ends up yes. being aired for all of me. I have seen several pictures of you naked already online. Um, but those were the ones we're taking really a confidentiality. Yeah, those, those, were, those were. I sent you those. <laughs> bro. Hey, um, so so yeah, yeah, Billy, get out of there. Um, no, so so look, I do want to talk to you guys because I don't, I, I do know your perspective here, getting to work with your old man. But I, I would love to hear, uh, you know, he briefly touched on, what, you know, what each of your tr training and kind of how you got into it. But now you're there. Now you're signed to a contract and you're you're busting your hump and you're getting to do it right beside your dad and beside your brother. How, believe you me, I know how that feels, but I want to hear you guys tell me. How, how does that feel? You go for it. Oh, okay. I'll start. <laughs> um, Humble. Humble. <laughs> yeah. uh, for me, it's been a crazy whirlwind. Like we've done, I've only been doing this. A little over a year and a half and it's very a lot of the job training in front of a million people and then but being with my dad and my brother has really made it you know i don't, I don't want to say easy by any yeah but better and more comforting and like i heard my dad over talking a little bit but he was saying you know he's on the outside of the ring just screaming at us yeah, so yeah. in the moment you're like please stop i'm trying to fault it but they're like oh wait actually yeah Hey, uh, on the fly coaching. <laughs> believe you me, I've been there. Uh, I've been there, and so usually he was cussing too. And so I really, that's when I really thought he was like hot at me because he would, he wasn't, he was just yelling things because he's big and he has large lungs, I guess. Um, at big well, lungs. Uh, so it yeah. takes up because he doesn't have it big anything else. But, um, but Blue like, and he would just scream, Blue Chew, dog, D O double G yeah. is your promo code. Um, so, so for you, I want to hear from, uh, from your helmeted brother. Um, what do you think? <laughs> um, I think the same way. It's like when I started, me and dad were here alone in AEW, and I was able to get that experience and just soak up that knowledge. And then what we were just talking about, about screaming on the apron is like, I got to do that first with him. So it was like, dad only yelled at me. And I was like, dude, this is insane. Yeah. But I was, so, I was so confident at that time. By the time I got to AEW, I was so confident, like trying to be the ring general in my head and kind of like, okay, now I know what's going on. But then the other ring general, there can be two. So it's like, 
when I knew I was doing my own thing and being very confident. I would, I would argue right. that you're the ring major and he's yeah, the ring champ. <laughs> and I wear the helmet. Yes. Amen. <laughs>